Okay, so um, what we're going to do, hi. What we're going to do is um, we're going to last up this upper on this last. We've already uh, done the insole. We've talked about that before. And the insole has previously been taken off and we've traced the sock lining. So uh, that's back in the workshop. But when you've got the uh, insole off, that's the time to make your sock lining because then it fits perfectly. This is the stiffener we're going to use. I pre-cut it out from this pattern. And I just want to show you how the pattern is made for a stiffener. Is you have the quarter patterns that the upper was made on. And the uh, inside, there you can see how that works. So that is there. So it's coming forward. There's the vamp, like that. It's coming forward, and then you do the do the same on the other side with the vamp there. So you uh, notice that we use a notch to mean the medial or the inside, and notice how the lateral side is lower than the medial side. The lateral side because of the ankle bone, the lateral malleolus, the lateral ankle bone, you want to have 40 mil as your top line, but on the medial you can have 46, so that's inch and 5 eighths or uh, inch, inch and 5 eighths on the lateral or inch and 7 eighths on the medial. And the back height is one-fifth of the last length, which is 30 mil, uh, th sorry, 30 centimeters, 300 mil. So that's 60 plus 3 is 63. So that top height there is 63, not including the insole. And the reason we add the 3 mil is because of shrinkage. Okay, so this is the, uh, you can see this is going to be the stiffener taking shape on the last there. And what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to trim it. So I've previously sharpened my knife. So this is done to about a two and a half mil thickness on the Skyby machine. So what I want to do is just take off material so that the stiffener is full thickness through there and then tapers off up towards the top line. And by the way, this stiffener has been soaked. Uh, it's been soaked for about half an hour in water and then stored in between sheets of newspaper. Do you want to come closer? Can you see yeah. enough? Because there's only uh, four of you, then you know you could get nice and close. So notice how the taper on this, the stiffener is straight on the top. See how it's, uh, it's forming a, a straight line. So what you want is when it's on the foot that you don't feel any bumps or lumps, that you just feel a, a nice smooth graduation from being an uh, absolute fine feather edge on the top line to being a full thickness around the cup. I'm just working this. You can also feel it, feel for any bumps, any ridges. It feels quite good. So, whereas the bit where it, so that's going to be on there, and it'll be just uh, below the top line by about three mil when it's on the upper. And then I've got actually quite a bit of surplus. So the way to find just tapping it with the hammer and that that produces this uh, the feather line so there's the feather line and then the medial you know under the arch you want it to be longer so I want to just give myself about six mil longer than that feather line Now this skive, I'm going to do so that it cups, so I'm, see how I'm twisting the blade. 
So that produces a cup. So you can feel a ridge along there and then it comes down and then flattens out. So it's a slightly cupped shape of um, of scythe. This is because I want it to wrap around. I want it to wrap around the bottom of the last and make a nice flat seat. But I want the full thickness to be around at the uh, I want the full thickness of the, the stiffener. I want it to be quite full at the bottom. So that's going to be there. That's tucking out nicely under the joint. Don't think I want it to press on the joint that much, so I'm just going to cut it off there. And I want it to end behind the joint here, so I'll, I'll cut it off about there. go back to the taper. If anybody has any questions, this is all being filmed, and so if you have a question, then people watching the film will have a question as well. So just ask and I'll, I'll answer it. By the way, we can get these knives for you, and I, there's a way, you have to grind them so that they're thin here. I've got a couple here now, um, but you can get them through Aljo's. And also, I've got a box of rivets. These rivets are 1 inch or 26 mil, 18 gauge or 1.2. They're specifically designed for doing this. I've got a box here, and if you want some, I can, I've got some envelopes. I can give you enough to make a couple of pairs of shoes. Okay. So, now this has been made, cut to the pattern, so presumably my stiffener is going to fit into my upper. So here's my upper. It's made out of a really nice uh, uh, maroon uh, chestnut grain calf. There's uh, Dutch orthopedic linings and uh, kid, uh, sorry, a pig lining there, and then a counter made out of uh, a similar, yeah, it's made out of a, s a similar material to the upper. So the suede backing counter there. So. What I want to do is, it might be a bit of rubber solution, so, you know, from the closing, make sure it's all open, and just check that the upper's going to fit in there. So fold it in half there, and just pull it like that. You pull it like that, then it's starting to take on the last shape. And so there's, that's found the midline. So put the midline down the seam in there, Pop it in and make sure there's not any interference from the, uh, see like where that tab is there, it just curved under there, where the, uh, the tab is from, it's a, it's a derby shoe, so the, you've got the tab there, you want to make sure the stiffener is going to tuck up behind there, and as it is it curves down and just misses it. And in there it just curves and just misses it. So it, it's coming down there. Just making sure that it, that the uh, top of the stiffener is fitting right snug up into the top line of the upper. Okay. And uh, Tommy Simons that I learned from, he used to get a hand stitch and literally stitch there and there to stop the uh, stiffener coming down. But I won't do that because I don't think he had the, the patterns available to, to make his stiffeners from. But uh, hopefully that'll stay up there. But uh, one way to, as I say, to put a loose stitch temporarily in, that'll uh, stop the stiffener coming down when you go to last it up. Okay, so this is a, a shoemaker's paste. The best one we found is called Metrotex 047, and you can get it from Aljo's. Uh, shoemaker's paste nowadays is usually like a form of white glue and uh, it's uh, this is just the best um, there there are others on the market <laughs> um, and if you if you're stuck somewhere just make up some wallpaper paste because that's basically what it is 
or if you can't get wallpaper paste, you've got some white flour, it's just flour and water, that's, you know, the old uh, stuff is paper mache. Okay, so what I'm doing is, um, I've got the stiffener in there, so I'm going to put the paste in between the uh, stiffener and the upper, so I'm just working between the stiffener and the upper, being quite generous. So what this is going to do is it's going to create what's called a, a shell, a, a laminate shell. So the upper, the, the stiffener, and the lining are all pasted together and they form a 3D shape, which because of the, the lamination formed between the three layers, makes a very firm shell. This is a long, medium stiffener, by the way. You don't often see long stiffeners in manufactured footwear because of the expense. To do a long stiffener costs three or four times as much as to do a, a short stiffener. And if you're making 10,000 pairs of shoes, the difference between a short stiffener and a long shifter can be 20,000 pounds. You know, if it costs two pounds more to do, do a, a, um, a long stiffener than a short one. So. Uh, money talks, but when people are paying what they pay for a bespoke shoe, then you uh, you don't skimp on materials. Okay, so now I've got paste between the upper and the stiffener, and I've pushed the stiffener back in place and I've got paste between the stiffener and the lining. Always pasting to the outside, just because it's easier. Okay, so Pulling that into shape, make sure it's, just give it a pull like that and make sure it's stayed in place, which it has.